Prigozhin extends greetings to everyone, but nobody knows his whereabouts. Almost a day after Yevgeny Prigozhin and his Wagner group halted their advance towards Moscow, there is still a great deal of uncertainty. The Wagner troops have since left Rostov-on-Don, and the situation there appears to have returned to normal. Most of the restrictions on Russian highways have also been lifted. However, traces of yesterday's events remain today. Security measures around Red Square in Moscow are still in effect, and in Rostov-on-Don, where Prigozhin and his men occupied a military headquarters yesterday, efforts are underway to clean up the damage. Damage can also be seen along the route of the advance, such as in Voronezh, where authorities report that about 20 houses were damaged during the skirmish. Additionally, many residents of Moscow do not have to go to work tomorrow. Yesterday, a non-working day was declared, and as a result, many businesses will remain closed tomorrow. EPA One of the entrances to Red Square, the famous square next to the Kremlin remained closed today as well. The exact whereabouts of Prigozhin himself remain completely unclear. Yesterday he left Rostov-on-Don amid cheers, but his destination is unknown. It has been agreed that he will move to Belarus, where Kremlin puppet Lukashenko has been in power for almost 30 years. What the Wagner leader will do there is unknown, and there is no clarity on any conditions imposed on him. Lukashenko himself was involved in the negotiations and has had repeated contact with President Putin yesterday and today. Russia correspondent Iris de Graaf. There is still a lot of uncertainty at the moment. Where exactly is Prigozhin who is protecting him, and will Putin let him get away with this? Officially, it has been promised that all charges against Wagner soldiers will be dropped, and the criminal case against Prigozhin announced by the FSB on Friday will be withdrawn. That was confirmed by the Kremlin today as well. But no matter where he may be, it is highly doubtful whether Prigozhin will get away with this. Because Putin has publicly accused Prigozhin of treason, a stab in the back. And according to Putin, that is the most heinous crime. He might be able to overlook theft, stupidity, or cowardice. But personal betrayal, especially by his friend, the man who was his personal chef, he will never forgive him for that. And Putin really has to do something, especially now that his image as the strong president who has everything under control has been shattered by this rebellion. The concessions made to Prigozhin to withdraw him from the vicinity of Moscow, his troops claim to have approached the city to within 200 kilometers, are also unknown. Kremlin spokesperson Peskov refused to comment on that yesterday, except to say that security guarantees have been issued for Prigozhin and his men. Peskov also said he did not know where Prigozhin actually is. According to a Russian state media outlet, RTVI, the press service of the Wagner boss stated that Prigozhin sends greetings to everyone and will respond to questions once the situation becomes somewhat more normal. His Telegram account, where Prigozhin is usually quite active, has been inactive since yesterday evening.